students will practice some questions based on indefinite integration which have trigonometric functions involved. Let's, let's take the first example. Suppose integral is sin square x. So we must try to make it a linear function. For that you can use the result cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sin square x. From here you can write sin square x as 1 minus cos 2x by 2. I will make this substitution here. Now you can split the integral into two parts. The first integral would be and the second would be sin 2x divided by 2. This is answer to this question. Okay, we'll try another question now. Okay, let's see another question. We have to integrate cosine square x. We'll again try to make it a linear function. For that, you can use the result cos 2x is 2 cos square x minus 1. So from here, you can write cos square x as 1 plus cos 2x by 2. Put it here. Now split into two integrals. Okay, we'll try another question now. See this next question. Cube x. We'll again try to make it a linear function. For that, you can use the result sin 3x equals 3 sin x minus 4 into sin cube x. From here, you can obtain the value of sin cube x as now we put this expression in place of sin cube x. integrate. Integral of sin x is minus cosine x. So this is the answer to the given integral. Okay. So you need to understand if you are given high pass we try to make it a linear function. So for that you may have to use standard results of maybe cos 2x, maybe sin 3x, depending on the expression given in the question. Okay, we will see another example now. Now the next question, integral of cos cube x. Here you can use this result cos 3x is equal to 4 into cos cube x minus 3 cos x. From here you can get the value of cos cube x. This expression in place of cos cube x. Now we can split the right hand side into two integrals. Integral of cosine 3x is sine 3x by 3, and that of cos x is sine x. Would be the answer for this question. Okay, let's try another question now. Now the next question is integral of sin x to the power 4. You can write this as sin square x whole square. Now if you use the formula of cosine 2x, you can replace sin square x with this expression.
I take 2 square means 1 by 4 out of the integral. Now use the formula of a minus b whole square. Out of these three terms, this is not directly integrable. We will try to make it linear. Now as cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1. Similarly, we can say cos 4x is equal to twice of cos square 2x minus 1. From here, you can get cos square 2x as equal to 1 plus cosine 4x by 2. Put it here. Now we will split here. 1 plus 1 by 2 can be written as 3 by 2. Okay. Now let's integrate further. Okay, we'll simplify it. This would be answer to the given question. Okay, we'll now try another question. Okay, next question is integral of cos 6 to the power of 4. We'll write this as cos square x whole square. And now you can use the result cos 2x which is 2 cos square x minus 1. So we can write cos square x as 1 plus cos square x by 2. Put the result here. Out of these three terms, this is not linear, cannot be directly integrated. So, what we'll do is as cos square x is written in terms of cos 2x, similarly, you can write cos square 2x as 1 plus cos 4x by 2. Put this expression here. Okay, now if you integrate these terms, you'll be getting 3 by 2x. Here you get sine 4x by 4, and here you get sine 2x by 2 plus c. This would be answer to the given question. Okay.